Cancellation of celebrations to not being able to see friends and family in person. COVID-19 has brought with it many disappointments for our children. I spoke with Dr. Nicole Birkins yesterday. She shared some valuable insights about how to help our kids through this. I think there's a few important things to consider. The first is to be factual and honest and open about the information. It's not helpful to string kids along, to tell them, well, maybe something's still going to happen if you know that it's not. It's best to be upfront and honest. And we need to rein in our own emotions about that and stay as calm and regulated ourselves as possible in sharing that information with them. And then the other piece of that is to acknowledge and accept whatever feelings they have about that. For us to recognize that it's perfectly normal and okay and healthy for them to feel hurt, sad, disappointed, frustrated, angry. Those are normal emotions to feel when something that you were really looking forward to has been taken away from you. Some grieving goes on with that. And we need to be able to accept that and to say, you know, honey, I know that's how you're feeling and that is okay to be feeling that way and just be there for them and not try to gloss over it and say, oh, it's not a big deal. Oh, you shouldn't be upset about it. That's not helpful. Acknowledge and accept how they're feeling and empathize with them. Absolutely. How do we help our kids move forward? Yeah. So a few things there. For, for younger kids, it can be helpful to, you know, distract them with activities that they do enjoy. They tend to move on, you know, more quickly. For our elementary through, you know, teens, um, it's important to give them some things that they can look forward to. If something is going to be postponed, then putting that on the calendar and giving them a target date in the future to look forward to can be helpful. But sometimes we need to get creative and say, this isn't going to happen at all. What can we do? Um, you know, to help ourselves move forward. We're not going to be able to take this family vacation. Let's start looking at some things that we might do next year. Graduation's not going to happen. Let's look at what we can do to celebrate and really move kids into a problem solving mode. It's okay to feel how you're feeling. And now we can move into problem solving and look at how we can make the best of this situation. How do we help our kids build resilience? It's such an important point, and I do think that's the silver lining of a lot of this. Out of any kind of crisis or adversity can come really important growth for kids and for us as adults, and disappointment is a part of life. And so kids learning how to feel what they feel about that and cope with that and move forward with that is such a valuable experience for them to move forward into their lives. And for us as parents to just recognize that as hard as it is for us to see our kids sad and hurting and disappointed, that's actually a gift to them if we can help them navigate that in a productive, healthy way and allow them to go through that, it's going to serve them well. So for all of us to realize that there is benefit in this, even though it doesn't feel good right now. Thank you, Dr. Birkins.